Town Hall 15 is the next update, so let's reveal it to you and fill you in on what upgrades to expect when it goes live. What's going on my friends? My name is Joe, welcome back to the show, and this is a Town Hall 14 which can be upgraded to Town Hall level 15. This is going to cost 18 million gold with a 15 day build time. So have those books and hammers ready because there's a bunch of new levels to tell you about, but first, and there you have it, Town Hall Level 15. It is a magical theme Town Hall level, and it's upgradable much like Town Hall 13 and 14. Now the weapon itself will remain the Giga Inferno Tower. I think that the Clash team is trying to avoid that the Town Hall becomes too overpowered. So instead of giving you all the stats individually, I've placed them on the screen for you to compare. Now remember, this is a developer build, so any stats that you see today may change upon the release of the update. But as of right now, Town Hall 15 levels 2 through 4 are focused on increases of the weapon's damage per second and damage when destroyed. Level 5 gains an increase of Poison's area of effect by half a tile. Might not be very noticeable unless you're playing at the competitive level. When we compare the different levels of Town Hall 15, aesthetically there really isn't much difference at all. The obvious one is the relocation of the Roman numeral to the roof of the building building on two different sides, and as we move into level 5, we see a change in coloration on the four points of the building. So let's take a look at this new town hall in action, and yes, the heroes are gaining five additional levels, which we'll explore in a moment, of course. The Giga Inferno Tower has a new visual appearance and new beam color, but most importantly, when the poison bomb explodes, there is a new visual appearance of defending poison ring. This way you can kind of separate between your offensive poison and the defensive poison, even though they're the same color. There's just so much in this next update, let's move into heroes. All four heroes will gain five additional levels, and no, there will not be a fifth hero addition at this time. I know, I know, it's Town Hall 15, it's supposed to have a new hero, but that is just not the case at this moment. Jumping into the Barbarian King, he will gain 40 damage per second and an increase of hit points by 750 points. With the addition of five new levels on each hero, we will also see a new level for the ability level itself. So when we look at the King, it looks like he's gonna see an increase of all four attributes, 38 summon units, but let's jump into that Archer Queen. The Archer Queen will see a slight increase on her damage per second and hit points, plus the new ability level will see an additional Archer added onto summon units. The Grand Warden, probably the most important hero here, will see some increasing to his statistics, damage per second, hit points, but most importantly, the Eternal Tome ability will gain 0.25 seconds longer on that invincibility for your troops, which is always really nice when you're having to deal with a Town Hall itself. Now let's jump into that Royal Champion, and she's gonna see an increase of 20 damage per second and 150 hit points, with the Seeking Shield ability seeing a 90 point increase of damage. There's also a large group of offensive and resource buildings that will gain new levels at Town Hall 15. Some of them have already been upgraded, that way I don't reveal something too early and get in trouble for it. But make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for upcoming sneak peek videos. You're really going to like it, and I don't say stuff like that very lightly, you know that. So let's get into that clan castle. The clan castle will go up to level 11 for 20 million elixir and a 20 day build time. So you're really going to need a hammer of building for that because you gain five additional troop capacity. The laboratory will be upgradable for 12.5 million elixir, a 12 day build time. 
The army camps will be going to level 12 for 19 million elixir for a 16 day build time each which will increase your army size from 300 to 320 housing space. The barracks will increase to level 16, the spell factory level 7, the penthouse will increase to level 8, and the siege machine workshop will increase to level 7. I know! <laughs> I want to show you guys so bad. It's not my fault. I'm not doing this, I promise. But moving into the less exciting gold storage 6.5 million elixir let's go ahead and swing a hammer on that with the new aesthetic to match town hall level 15 very nice going to the elixir storage 6.5 million gold let's go ahead and increase the level of that and waste a book that's not really mine it's a developer build and then most importantly your dark dark elixir storage which is going to be 12.5 million elixir we're just going to go ahead and use some gems there that way you can see the adjustments there storage capacity town hall 15 will see an increase of capacity for gold and elixir to 22 million on each and the dark elixir will go up to 370,000. but what about the defenses well let's go ahead and start out on some walls we got a brand new level wall that's going to match the aesthetic of town hall level 15 and I'm gonna tell you right now I like the coloration that is glorious but the price is not so favorable we got 8 million gold or 8 million elixir or 8 wall rings and you'll have 200 walls upgradable after this update to that new aesthetic very pretty but <laughs> very expensive now this patch of defenses are the ones that are going to be upgradable after the update remember that normally when clash releases a new town hall level we see a wave of new defenses throughout the year so we're going to start out with our cannon being upgradable to level 21 for 18 million gold and an increase of six damage per second and a little bit of hit points 17 day upgrade oh my gosh <laughs> but that's pretty that one is definitely pretty archer tower increase of 18 5 million gold and an increase of five damage per second the wizard tower 19.2 million gold and we're gonna see an increase of five damage per second 18 day build time Moving into the air defense, level 13 air defense, 18 day build time, 19.5 million gold and a 40 increase of damage per second. They're really trying to target those dragons I see. We got the mortar going up to level 15, 18 day build time, 19 million gold and increase of six damage per second. The expo seeing a level 10 addition, 19 day build time, 20 million gold. We're gonna need a lot of hammers of building for this thing. And the Inferno Tower with an addition of level nine. 19 day build time, 21 million gold. And we're gonna see a damage per second increase on the single target by 100 points. The multi target's going to get a 10 point damage per second increase and 300 hit points let's go ahead and upgrade that and this will be the aesthetic design of those defenses finally with the bomb tower going up to level 10 18 day build time 20 million gold an increase of 10 damage per second let's swing the hammer on that and then we have a few traps we'll gain new levels as well with the bomb going up to level 11 let's go ahead and spend some gems there and waste a hammer or a book or something there and then also the air bomb going up to level 10 with a damage increase of 30 points same tile radius no real changes there, just kind of increasing the power of the bombs versus the balloons but that's the new defensive levels that we will see after this update and to finish things up we have new troop and spell levels coming with town hall 15 as expected now i'll place their upgrade stats as well as their new visual appearance on the screen as as I run through this list we have the new barbarian level 11 and level 11 archer which is very important when it comes to those hero spawn units because the same level of spawns is the same ones that are in your laboratory or the ones that you can train we also have the giant going to level 11 the wall breaker going to level 11 the wizard upgrading to level 11 as well as the minion level 11 the golem will see a new level at level 12, the witch at level 6, 
the Miner going to level 9, and the Electro Dragon going to level 6 as well. This will also affect the Super Troops to include Super Barbarian, Archer, Giant, Wall Breaker, Wizard, Witch, and Minion. So these are a lot of changes coming at Town Hall 15 that's going to affect the offensive side of the game. When we jump into our spells, it looks like we got a brand new level 10 lightning spell, level nine heal spell, level five jump spell, level nine poison spell, and a level six bat spell. So with the new defenses comes new spells that are going to either counter or attack them. So this is very exciting. Not to mention the insanely long list of upgrade time and cost reductions, which are going to affect Town Hall 14 and below. So make sure you guys check that out. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about Town Hall 15 so far, and make sure you're subscribe for more reveals throughout the week and we will see you in the next video.